We rolling. Woo! Uh, an Oreo. Look at this shit. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Not supposed to touch your face, man. Hold on. Oh. Uh, no. I don't even know what to say. There's chocolate all over his mouth. We were just filming some chocolate. What are we filming? We were filming chocolate. Uh, or Bobby was shooting chocolate. Uh, chocolate pictures. BDM? Yeah. S&M. <laughs> um, but no, I'm so out of it. I'm just... This is just too start much. over. Give it a woo. Woo! Woo! Can you see my face? I can see it, but it's. <laughs> Here. Right. Here we go. We're done. We're done. We got our TP. This is core TP. It's coming out soon. And core Clorox wipes. Dude, why are you blowing? <laughs> Pause for sponsor. Dude, you know how many Bruh. messages we're going to get now because of that? Bro, it's okay. We got disinfectant wipes we're, and toilet we're, paper. We're quarantined together anyways. Yeah. So, Thank you, America Energy, for supplying us for this wonderful podcast. Ask the Boss episode number 21. Shout out. Who's number 21? This is day 20 of quarantine. I'm starting the quarantine on March 13th. Dude, don't get so freaking close to me. Um, Bird told me to go closer well, with you. Bird, there's good. That's good. fine. He's over there. He's six feet away with a mask on. I'm right up on your junk. <laughs> you want to be on my junk, don't you? So we started filming. I look over at Meat, and he smiles, and he's got this chocolate all up in his mouth. Insert, the, I, insert the kid from uh, yes. Matilda. Yes. Bro, that's me. What's his name? The Matilda kid. That was Meat. So we were just filming... Um, Core, taking pictures of the new Core Pro, which we'll get to in a second. And Dude, meat, that whole meat, scene gave me nightmares. Meat got into the death by Fine, chocolate. Me too. I didn't get into the death by chocolate. I had, uh, I had an Oreo. Oh, you did have an Oreo. I had one Oreo and one mini uh, Reese's peanut butter cup. Oh, that, Bro, I was 200 pounds a day. Bro, I know. Dude, I was in weight during the quarantine. Too. I was at 205 before the quarantine at one point. Dude, up the dose, bro. No, I need to. <clears throat> my pre-workout meals are just... Today we actually got under barbell and stuff. Yeah, so now, dude, you got to now you're ready to go. So now I need to eat. Yeah. Like I've just been doing ISO and a little little hockey puck <laughs> snack. Oh, and, bro, you know, losing it off. All right, hold on. <coughs> the Matilda cake scene, kid. What Matilda is that cake from? Ki- kid. What's that from? Well, Bert will put it right here. Matilda, bro. I don't know what Matilda is, but I know the picture of the fat kid. Matilda with star. Uh, what's his damn name? Go to images, bro. Show. Go to images. Google images. There's the fat kid, dude. Yeah, that's little me. Bro, that's little. <laughs> that, that's Patty Mayo well, right what's there. What's his name? I don't remember his name. If we were live, somebody would be helping us out. All right, so I was saying, this is day like 20 of the quarantine or 19-ish. So you, I don't even know. I'm you starting it on Friday the 13th because that was the first day that the kids had off of school and they never went back. So that well, the kids, Jackson, had school on the 12th, but then Friday the 13th, yeah, they did right. not have school, and they've never gone back. Isn't so that kind of creepy? I'm starting it March 19th. It's almost a whole week. Why? Because I went to the gym 16th, 17th, and 18th. Dirty. But you've been quarantined for two weeks now, so you're good. You didn't get, yeah, you two didn't, weeks. You didn't get that Rona. No. Oh, yo, give me a little of that. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> what are you doing? Give me a little of that juice. Uh yeah, so we've stopped uh, manufacturing supplements. We're making toilet paper, Clorox wipes, and hand sanitizer. It's a good Clorox business. wipes are, like, rare to come, come by. Yeah, no. That's, like, gold right there. Yep. It's not like muffled. I just, uh, just got, like, a... What? It's muffled with a <clears throat> mask on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mask. All right, so where do we start today, Meat? Get, uh, us, get, us, get us organized updates, here. Updates, bro. Why have, like, random tissue there, bro? I was wiping the chocolate off my face. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, uh, Updates. Updates. Um, why don't you start with, um, uh, you want to start with the future or the past? I mean, shoot. Well, then if it's the past, the future. if it's past, it's not going to be an update, bro. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it still could be an update. You can update. That's a bullshit. You're just trying to make fun of me again. This is crap. This <laughs> is what like I deal with. Right? It's not a me. <laughs> Hey, hey, Doug. Oh, here we go. He's you're going to come in. You're going to come in and be like, me, give me an update. Well, I'm not going to update you on the future. I'm going to update you on the past <laughs> of what I've done to, at work today. Right? All right, bro. Give me give me the, the back to the future. Give it to me. Future? Yeah. Get, no, the past. <laughs> I don't even know. Give me bro. the past update. I don't know, man. We launched the products. We're f***ing. Oh, <laughs> 
Beep. You need to be careful. You know our pastors watch this. I know. <laughs> she knows, though. She forgives me. Jesus forgives me, and so does Laura. Uh. <laughs> Laura's like Jesus. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I don't even know what. Where are we? This so we did uh, intra and ABC. So that, that's that's the pass. Screw the pass. Well, might, so we launched Fury. We launched Intra. We launched the three new flavors of ABC. And I gotta say, holy moly, pink guava and blueberry acai are freaking amazing. Really I good. honestly think they are my two favorite. That's saying a lot. Above sweet tea, lemon drop. Gummy snakes. They're that good. They're smooth. They're just like really enjoy. Like, like Have you been drinking them during your workout? Yes. Because I have not and, actually. I've been doing intro. So. And even like a like a sweet treat in the afternoon. Like yeah. I don't eat, like it was almost like dessert. Like I'll have dinner and then I'll be like, man, I want some blueberry ABC. Yeah. It's, just wait till s- summer hits and Bro. Minos and Tito's get flown. Whenever that is. The, what? The, yeah, when I, yeah. whenever that we is. We might just skip summer this year is what might happen. No, we need summer. It's, summer's Maybe. happening because it's going to kill Rona. Rona, yeah. So we have that. And then Monday, so this will be going live on the 5th, 4th, 3rd. The 3rd. This program oh, will oh, be going live on the 3rd, which is Friday. On Monday the 6th, we're launching Core Pro. Get so, excited. Doug. Do you want to grab those two pounders over there and we'll go through these flavors? I think it's important. I think we should. Yeah, and we... we we're missing Death by Chocolate because the photo shoot got a little messy. You know what I'm saying? Um, All right. So, so six flavors, Death by Chocolate. You going to throw them? Yeah. Is that what we're doing? If you Death catch them. Hut, hut, hut. Right. Blue 42. All right. So we got Fruity Cereal first, Doug. What is Fruity Cereal? It's Fruity Pebbles. It is a very distinct Fruity Pebbles. It is it's amazing. And it's not Fruit Loops. There is definitely a difference between Fruit Loops and Fruity Pebbles. This yeah. is Fruity Pebbles. 100%. Fruity Pebbles is sweeter, in my opinion. Yeah. 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 More this sugary. Is amazing. Okay, and so you've, cool. been, you've been mixing this in the sludge, and apparently... So I haven't I haven't been using this yet. I'm bringing a bunch of the two-pounders home tonight. I haven't been using this yet, but I'm going to start using it in the sludge tonight because I cleared. that's why I cleared out all that old sup, all those old well, supplements in the kitchen. The first... I know you like to do half and half sludges. Yes. I need you to do full new pro. Just full new pro. Full like, new pro. Really? It's going to... Gonna, what, what flavor do I do tonight? Uh, do a do a death by chocolate, yeah. Okay. Do like an OG okay. chocolate. But like two scoops in a bowl, I'm telling you, the consistency in a sludge is the best thing I've ever and had. And I heard the cookies and cream is ridiculous too. Cookies and cream. Because I don't remember because it was so long ago when we approved these. But I do remember it being very good. All right. But Fruity cereal, cookies and cream. Death by chocolate, which is not shown. He's getting a bath right now. Chocolate peanut butter cup. Yep. Chocolate peanut butter. Nice. This one... Frosted vanilla cupcake. This ain't no plain Jane vanilla, no, Doug. It's definitely not. Super good. Icing. You had this the other night in sludge, didn't you? Yeah, this one. That one for baking this would be awesome. Ridiculous. Cinnamon French toast. I think this is going to bake really well, too. So, um, yeah. We need, a, we need a chocolate. They're all. You want to get a chocolate? I'll go get it. So, I'll talk about the deals. Which. Well, see you later. All right, the deals. So we have these. These are just the two pounders. And as you know, with our two pounders, we don't like fluff it up. This, these are filled to the brim, so they're actually really convenient. Take up less shelf space, cabinet space, whatever. Show them a five, or do you yeah. Show them. Let's show them how big it is. There you go. Right there. Right there. Oh, oh. there you go. That's the five pounder. Oh, dude, there's juice all over this. Take your splooge. Oh, oh. Is that right. cinnamon fresh toast? Yeah, yeah, oh, that one. Man. Straight from IHOP. All right, so then we have the death by chocolate. So I was going through the deals. So the deals this, are okay for this for Monday. Are we gonna have our crushing Corona or crushing quarantine shirts in by then? I don't think so. I mean, we just well, I'm gonna check on that real quick. So here's what we got going on. We have two and five pounders. These will be 10% off the regular website price and coupon codes apply. So if you know any athletes or influencers that have their coupon codes, they apply. So that's pretty much up to a 30% off deal, which is sick. It's a great deal. It's really sick. And on top of that, we are doing, so what is the price? It's around, the 10% off price is around 30 
33 bucks or something like that ish 30 map 34 99 34 99 and then you can get if you have a coupon code you can get off of that as well and then we're doing all six of the two pounders for 199 yeah which saves another so i just did the math if you do 34.99 times 6 it's 209 so you save another 10 bucks save 10 bucks and you get a, a jumbo shaker yep and if we have our crushing quarantine shirts in i'm going to throw that in the deal as well that's sick so if you guys don't know we should probably jump back to that well let's get to the pricing first i'm squirreling i'm all over the place i'm cracked out i feel like the five pounders price is going to be drug miller five pounders are going to be priced what I don't know. You said crack and fifty fifty nine ninety nine. Sixty four ninety nine. Sixty four ninety nine. You can use the coupon code. Uh, we're not doing a six pack deal of that because I don't know how many people would buy thirty pounds of protein. Well, actually, right now they might buy thirty pounds of protein. You never know. Stocking up, quarantine. Can you imagine all them six tubs in your kitchen? No. No. Well, actually, I did. I just cleared out about that many out of our uh, kitchen cabinet. So. Supplement pantry. So. Let's talk about crushing quarantine for a second. Yeah, let's do so it. we've decided to start the movement, the crushing quarantine movement. Bird, can you throw up the, the the images here? So this is just our way of staying connected with all of you guys. So if you're not already signed up to the newsletter, go to corenutritionals.com. There'll be a little pop up. Sign up there. You'll get our newsletters. It's about one email a day at this point. So there'll be a combination of um, motivational thoughts, home workouts, uh, recipes, um, special deals that we have going with relevant products. Um, just really to kind of stay connected with you guys, we're going to have a bunch of our core elite athletes and influencers doing, taking you guys through some home workouts, um, which will also be on the Instagram. So you can follow us on there as well. So we were, we were debating on whether or not to do shirts with this, but we figured, yeah, why not, man? Cause they're, the logo we came up with, I love. Yeah. And I think it's, uh, I think people need something to grab onto, something to get them excited. So I think wearing the crushing quarantine shirt, which is basically mean making sure you're making the most out of the time that you have when you're at home isolated. It's the crush it lifestyle. Just it's the current crush it lifestyle, right? right. You know? So we are running these t-shirts now. I'm going to find out. So I got to keep them busy. <laughs> All right, it's the meat show. Welcome to the meaty thighs special. Bird, you got any thoughts? Nah. Nah. Mark, Mark is dropping. You can get back in. Bro, I need somebody. You know, uh, Josh Gordon, he's he's in here telling uh, telling Doug to cancel his Robin Hood account and call him. And then I got people just saying, just buy something. Just do it. Just buy. So I'm back. So what's I don't the even know what you're talking about. So they ship today. We will have them Friday. Really? So I'm going to throw the Crushing Quarantine shirt in for free with this stack. Dude, so they printed. Dang. Well, they're we not, we've given them business. They don't, you know, people aren't printing shirts right now. So yeah. that's another reason why we did it, a good local business that we support. So um, we're going to throw the t-shirt in with, with this With the six-pack only. With the six-pack only. Or you can buy it for, let's do 15 bucks. Nice and cheap. Yeah, Just yeah. get it in people's hands. Yeah, yeah. Gone. I'm cool with that. All right, done. There. Crushing quarantine so we shirts gotta, on Monday. So, Bird, maybe you can put up even the, the rendering here. They're coming Monday? They're like a light gray with... They're pretty sweet. Dude... No, does, they're coming Friday. We'll have them Friday. Does Bobby need to shoot that, or do we use the rendering for... We'll take that offline. That's, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, that, that's the deal. So, okay. super excited about that's this. Sick. We've been out of protein for a while. I mean, there's a little bit of the old Core Pro, but this is definitely a next level protein... Uh, all the macros are 25 grams of protein. Let's jump into this real quick. Yeah, go go so, over what the differences are. Um, so old, I don't even know if I need to go over the differences. Let's well, just there's talk really, about the current product. Yeah, so the really big thing is difference. we've moved to a full transparent even on the protein side. So it's a 50-25-25 blend of whey protein concentrate, WPC-80, whey protein isolate, WPI-90, and milk protein isolate. So it's got, uh, you're really fast. You've got your slow absorbing with the milk protein isolate. Um, and it has just a great consistency. We also use a non-dairy coconut creamer in here, MCT creamer, which gives it a great consistency. Uh, the tastes are amazing. Um, and then we also use a digestive enzyme blend in here. Um, and there's no other like fillers or anything like that, as, as we always do. So 25 grams of protein. I'm going to read you what this, what is this one? This is cookies and cream. So that's 25 protein, three carbs, three fat. We What's got, the calorie on we that? Got, 140? 
that one's 140 and that's cookies and cream because it actually has just so much goodness in there yeah you know so now we're looking at this is the fruity cereal is going to be 20 they're all 25 protein but this is going to be two fat and one and a half carb so a little bit lighter 120 cows this one what's the flavor vanilla 2.5 fat two carbs this one is 2.5 fat two carbs chocolate peanut butter cup is no that was yep uh, what death, is this one? Death by chocolate. Death by chocolate is three fat, two carbs, and cinnamon French toast is two and a half fat and two carbs. Right. So they're all mostly around like two, two and a half fat. There is one or two that are three, um, and all the carbs are like two to three at max. And they're all 140 so, calories or less. Yeah, most of them are like less than that. So it's perfect. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's how are you gonna rank them in flavor right now? Okay, so, dude, it? I don't know, because I haven't really, like I said, I haven't no, That's been the hard thing, you, and you, there's a lot of pro questions. So, a lot of people are asking favorite flavors of Core Pro. Buy the six-pack um, and try it out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I don't think you could go wrong with any of them. To be I honest. really can't. Um, I told somebody free cereal and cinnamon French toast because they're so unique. But then again, like Death by Chocolate, it's just not chocolate. It's, it's like double chocolate layered cake, you know? Yep. And you get that as you drink it. And the cookies so. and cream is the like the best cookies and cream. It's awesome. I do remember that. They're all really good. So yeah, get the six pack. I mean, this is a sick deal. All right, so we got that. We have, you know, I saw Shane from Stack came out with like an update of our launch. So this is April sixth, and then we have on April twentieth we have the greens, which I'm going to get into here as well. The full formula. So in April, it's all about essentials. Yep. Protein, green. So every two weeks. And then we were going to do pump on the 11th. That's what Shane posted because I said it in the last Ask the Boss. We've decided to bump that up to May 4th because we actually have core pump in mm-hmm. our hands. Yeah. I'm not releasing the formula yet. Maybe in a week or two. I think when right before we launch the greens, I'll launch the pump formula. How about that? But greens is launching in two weeks from Monday. So I think we should go through the greens formula. Absolutely. I think the <coughs> most important thing. Did you, should, we actually, move, should we move these? These are annoying. Yeah, let's move them. Um, you didn't show us the greens nutrition panel like you said you would last episode. Well, we're on that. We had a we had a Rona. The Rona was in the way. All right. Word. So, core ground. You know what? Let's go live. Let's get it. Let's get it. I totally forgot. Totally forgot. Right, yeah, you should go live while you talk about where you release this. Yeah, man. Shane's going to be on there. Where does Shane live? He's a nomad. I actually think his Facebook or his Instagram name is like Nomad CEO or something like that. Huh. So he literally will. He's from New Zealand. He'll get an Airbnb for a period of time around the world based on the major bodybuilding uh expos and events so like around olympia he's has he'll be in vegas for a month and then in the uk he'll go to like birmingham or you know london for a month and then you know australia you know he'll go down there for the australia arnold after he's in columbus for a while you know like it's crazy flip your screen you know, oh they're looking at what, something what am i doing oh good lord that's pretty sweet, crazy though sweet baby jesus all right so we're just going live now we just gave our update we went through the whole core pro update Without them, of the rundown of the flavors, so we they missed that, but that's Sorry. okay. They can watch the Ask the Boss that'll be coming out on Friday. So we forgot to go live, but but now we are going to go over the new greens formula. And so there's two flavors. We got chocolate decadence and berry bliss. You guys can see that it's a sweet nectar of the gods right here. So greens. I got to say that the thing that I'm most excited about this is, now obviously I'm biased, these are really the best tasting greens out there. A lot of greens taste like dirt. So we have chosen the route of, one, making sure the flavoring systems are completely on point, and two, using sucralose versus stevia because 98% of the core consumer is doesn't care rightfully so about sucralose versus stevia and it tastes so much better. So these are going to be core green drinks. Like I would actually drink these and enjoy them. 
So we went with a chocolate, a very rich chocolate, so that you could mix it with like a protein shake, like a chocolate protein shake. And then we did the berry, which I actually think the berry is better. Me too. So the berry, you could... I like mean, if I'm drinking... You mix it with anything. By, by, if you're going to sip it or something like yeah. that, or you mix this with like Cortez or, or you know, um, Flex or whatever other powdered core product. You know, yeah. it would be good. Uh, Hard Extreme or whatever. Yeah. Um, so... The flavor and the taste of this is really going to set it apart. And then, of course, you know we went deep on the formula as well. So, Because what we uh, do. This is just what we do. So we have a couple trademarked ingredients in here. Bird, can you put up the, the up here somewhere? The panel? Yeah. So I can put it up here, but it would be backwards for people. But is it going to work? No, it would be backwards. So, you want to run through it, Bert, or uh, meet? You want the Well, honors? you said a couple. Okay. So, first of all, we have, uh, this is a non-prop blend greens product, except for the Spectra, which we use in here, which is a trademarked uh, ingredient blend of kind of like reds and greens. So, the like, same thing with the probiotic. Like, you can't. Yeah. So... But let's talk about those. So first of all, the non-prop blend, we start off with 2,400 milligrams of psyllium husk. Then we have two full grams of the patented registered trademark True Serve, which is basically a standardized form of organic kale, organic broccoli, and organic spinach. We have one gram of barley grass. We have one gram of wheat grass. We got... Uh, one gram of chlorella. We got one gram of spirulina. So these are s full, like, um, uh, servings, like, great dosing of a bunch of great superfoods. Um, and then we use 100 milligrams of the reds and greens antioxidant spectra blend. And then we use a digestive enzyme blend. So you're going to have your proteases, your lactases, your amylases, your lipases, and then we have a probiotic blend, so you're getting 5 billion cultures in here. So, like, it's um, it's higher than most of the greens out there. I think there's a few out there that might do 5,000, but most of them are doing, are, yeah, 5, 5 billion, but most of them are doing only 2 billion. So... And then we have 100% daily allowance of a bunch of your vitamins, A, C, D3, E, and then all your B vitamins as well. So there's a, also a vitamin blend in this as well. So um, awesome formula. Each scoop is 11.2 grams in the uh, berry and in the chocolate it is... 12.4. 12.4. That's because of the added cocoa, which... It's funny. Some people, you know, one of the one of the greens products that I use, the Barleen's Green, they actually count the cocoa as part of the greens blend. It's the number. It's the first ingredient, and it's basically basically it's 100% cocoa powder. It's in a prop blend. I use it because it tastes good. It does taste good. I mix it in my sludge, but now I'll be using this. <coughs> um, but it's basically all cocoa, and so you know we're not going to put cocoa in our nutrition facts label and call it an antioxidant. No. It's, that's it's not, another ingredient. It's another ingredient. So, greens dropping on the 20th. Bird, I mean meat. Why don't you flip that sucker around? Add mini thighs. Give me a follow. You know what I'm and saying? Meat Brigade. Hashtag Meat, meat Brigade. Brigade. I'm going to have to disinfect that phone now. Give me screenshot, more. Screenshot, points. screenshot, screenshot. Finally caught. Love the shirt, meaty. Yeah, I wore it just for the Oklahoma City people today. Shout out Triad. We good? Yeah, I think so. I mean, word. They had their opportunity. So that's greens. Oh right. yeah. Flip it. Flip around. All right. All right. So Core Pro April sixth. April sixth. April twentieth. Twentieth. And then now we're moving for Pump, which is actually in stock here, but we're not launching yet. We're moving it up from May eleventh to May fourth. So it's every two weeks, well, we just got a meat brigade. Is, uh, dropping like it's hot. All right, so we got a bunch of stuff going on here. Hold on a second. Let me let me just scan here real quick before you, you want you want to look at some questions. Yeah, I'll look at some. Um, let's see if I can answer. Have you, heard, you have you heard of somebody breaking out from taking creatine? I have not. 
Oh, thought he's clapping cheeks, Josh Gordon. Um, damn, that's two sexy guys right there. Um, all right, let's see what else we got here. I've never had a good taste in greens product. Well, I'm telling you, it's gonna change. It's gonna change. What's up? Just a bunch of waving and high fiving. Very, very one must be amazing. No, they're just. Just chilling, just bored at home in the quarantine. I hope you guys are all making use of this time to do something productive. Oh, somebody for, they caught one live. See, that's a good thing about the quarantine. People can watch us live. You know, they're not at home doing the work. They're watching us live. Well, they should um, be at home doing work. Love that shirt, Meaty. All right, so we already got that. Uh, meat Brigade. Got some Man, we need the Meat Brigade shirt soon. I'm going to start working on that. Call up Tom. Yeah, I mean, yeah, dude, jump on the shaved head. This is the Corona cut. Everyone's doing yeah, yeah. it. I just said, you know what? You know. Because if not, then you, if you go to like a special barber, you, yeah. you out for a couple months. Yeah. Sam wants me to cut her hair this weekend, bro. Well, don't fall that trap. Don't dude, do it, bro. Like, what am I supposed to do? I I, I, was, I told Steph I'd buzz it. She was like, I I'm, I mean, she's like, it'll grow back. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. I was like, you better buy some like real, <laughs> real like stuff. Nothing, I, dude. Nothing. Gonna, good. What am I gonna do? Go at you with some meat shears? We don't, yeah. like we don't have a bunch of scissors. bro. Nothing good could come out of that. Oh, uh, yeah. So the barleens. Somebody says they also take that. I mean, honestly, it does taste good because it's literally just go. Look at the ingredients. It's a five gram. It's like a five, six grams per serving or something like that. And I swear, five grams of it is cocoa. So like, yeah. South Florida Nutrition Corner. Ari, what, are you going to run it? If you're going to run it, maybe we could talk. Should have left the wisp at no the comment. widow's peak. Oh, yeah. You like that when Steph left the, uh, the yeah, little, yeah. yeah. All right. Hey, Doug. I don't know why. Doug, you got a runny nose? I don't know. It's kind of cold in here, so, like, I am kind of sniffling, and I don't want to, like, I don't want to touch my face. So, like, I'm just, maybe you know what? Maybe it's a little, you know, <laughs> Having a little good, you know what I'm saying? We, we talked about crack earlier. Yeah, we did. We got two minutes. Two, two minutes. minutes. So, uh, Joe Dirt wants to know how big your arms are when they're flexed. Right, this is weird, bro. I'm just skipping that. This is big. Weird. Joe Dirte. Just, just big. Just weird. Big. Real big. I am I am sniffing. Speaking of big, what's I... the best product for libido boost? Liberty Balls. I talked about it two episodes ago. Liberty Balls? Boing! I don't know, man. Alpha gets me. Alpha really gets me. Yeah, but Liberty Balls. Yeah. Why don't you juice. stack them together and tell me? All right, let's, let's All right. before we get too on, deep. On that note. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Take a break. <laughs> no, no, I don't got that Rona. We back. And we back. We back. We back. We back in the saddle. Da, da, da. Making the whole cage rattle. All right, next question. Country concert. Okay. Coming to you live Wednesday, April first. Oh man, I should've did we should have uh planned a big April Fool's joke for Doug today. That'd have been great. No. No? What would it be? I don't know. Probably something close like enough to get fired. Like you grab like you open up something and like the spider comes out and like, Oh a freaking bro. spider hits you in the head. But yeah, that's not was, an April Fool's, that's just a prank. It's not like Yeah, but it's a perfect yeah, time. But it's April Fool's, so it's an excuse to do it. Okay, so something close to we close to being fired, but not quite. All right, let's get into some real questions. All right, here. Get in there, me. Okay, so libido boost, but uh, what products stack well with Liberty Balls? That's a legit question. So I usually run Liberty Balls when I'm off of the Big Papa stack. Same. So Big Papa stack is Alpha Hard Core Test and Five AT, and I usually save the Liberty Balls to run when I'm off of that stack, and I oftentimes will stack it with Bollock. That's my stack. If we're sticking in with our brands, which is 99% of what I do. Usually when I take Liberty Balls is when I try to go to the nutrition corners and look for something different. <laughs> so so what's one you like? Recycle? I, you like uh, I really Pierce like Labs Recycle? I like Recycle. Yeah, um, I like that too. I've used that before. How are you liking this P PF3? You notice anything? I notice I'm losing weight. Are you getting uh, shredded? Hard. No. Getting harder. Composition. I think actually it is the home workouts that are now the home gym workouts have been kind of intense. 
I don't know why. Like, I don't know. Like, I think because I'm spending, I have a little bit more time. So I'm spending more time. I do sh my shoulder rehab every day kind of intensely before I even train. So right well, there, you're you adding another 15 minutes of activity on top you're, of it. Your knee's probably higher because you're probably running around with the kids more. That's that true. You got that a you got daily, and daily rest. Freaking little Griffin has been coming in. He's ended up in our bed three nights in a row. I said, Steph, this has got to stop. And so, like, we will lock his door, and he will pound on that door. <laughs> and now he knows how to flip the trash can upside down and turn on the lights. And so, like, it's 2 in the morning, and he's got all the lights on. Mama! Mama! I got it. I peed in my diaper. <laughs> Mama, change me. Oh, shit. Oh, Man, my God. poor stuff. Oh, Dude, that. he is such a mama's boy. It is crazy. Now, he and I... Last night, like, so we alternate, like, who tucks who in. Mm -hmm. And it's usually a fight because uh, in terms of, like, Griffin will always want mama, mama, mama. And it's, like, it stinks because if she's putting Griff down, then, like, I'll put – if she's putting Jackson down and I put Griff down, like, Griffin won't go down until mama comes back over, right? Like, so it's a lot. So finally last night he was all about, like, we were buds. So now that he's been getting a lot more daddy time, I think it's, it's becoming a little easier. But still, he's all about mom. I said, you know, he's gonna call. He's gonna go off to college, and he's gonna be that kid calling you every freaking night. I think you're on the. Uh, no, it's always gonna be stuff like pulling up to college, like, "Hey, what's up?" <laughs> I don't you're, think so. you're on the opposite of the curve. I no. think you know. I think he's coming out of his little funk. They're 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 they, they go off the together. they off to college. Yeah. Steph and I are like, "Peace out, we're gone." Like, Peace out. You know, they're gonna come back home. Like, you guys moved? Oh, oh yeah, we're in a. No, we're we're, we're in we're in. Uh, yeah, I'm not know, gonna tell you. Cabo. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think he is getting a little better, but he's just, he's nonstop hilarity. He, he is funny. He is. The yoga's in the morning crack me up. Like oh, the, dude, he, the stuff that comes out of his mouth, like I, we look at And walking down the street with that duck call was like that. <laughs> The duck in the middle of the road. In the middle of the rows. Dude, I got more Wah. comments on that than I get on any other story. Whenever Griffin's in it, like, people are dying. Like, everyone's, like, like a boss, yeah. you know, like, owning it. <laughs> he looks like an angry neighbor coming down to tell you to get off their lawn, you know, just, like, so funny. And then Jackson, you see Jackson draining those hoops, man? Oh, man, yeah, it's crazy. Athletic. Yeah. Super athletic. Yeah. So I got him a flag football set because they're quarantined with our neighbors, uh, Meaning, like, there's no other play. To, so they only play with our one set of neighbors so that are two girls. They're seven and nine, I think. So they're older. Or eight and nine, something like that. So they're a little bit older. Um, but he loves playing with them, and they're rough. And, like, they were playing – we were throwing football. Are they tomboyish? Like, they, they'll play this football? Or oh, yeah, they'll definitely play. So they were playing – trying to play football, but they didn't – so they were, like – Jackson was, like, literally took the nine-year-old down, wrapped her up around the, the – like – like this and like through it. I'm like, Jackson, stop. And but she is much bigger than him. Yeah. Right. So like, you know, I'm it's Taylor, right? So yeah. like he's just he like you're just like he's telling her to be careful not to hurt Jackson because he's, you know, so Smaller. small compared to him. And anyways, it's a lot of fun. But so they were playing football. I was like, all right, we're gonna get some flags. So that got I gave him the flag football, like the little flags that yeah. go around. So they're gonna like try to they run patterns and then try to get past each other and stuff yeah. like that. Keep it busy, man. Yeah, whatever we can do to Man, it was a Saturday. I was watching was... Poco, yo. That's it. Poco, what? yo. I'm what? On Netflix. What's that? There's a bunch of kids. I mean, I've been watching Pajama Llama. Pajama, oh, pajama Llama? Know. Yeah. Just Poco, yo. is like another like little. I'm just, that's all I do. And all these songs. Sam and I watch kid movies, but we, won't, we don't have to watch them repeatedly right now. I've been putting on stuff I want to watch and just make him watch it like. Bad Boys 2, he just watches it. Perfect. Which one? Perfect. Bad Boys 2. Yeah, yeah, that's the best one to get. I'm just like, sit here. He's just like. There's an F-bomb every, yeah, uh, every sentence. Just don't so. worry about it. You yeah, yeah. don't even know. <laughs> yeah, Same we're thing. into the Pixar, so we do day, we do a movie night once. We've actually, we just started it, and now I think we're up to doing it like twice a week because like we need It'd be hard to come to, back off, right? Like, yeah, so we do a, and we've been doing Pixar. So we've been through Ratatouille, which is my favorite. We've been through Up. We've been through. We did the Good Dinosaur. You guys ever see the Good Dinosaur? I have. Yeah, one? that's it's old, that. right? Like nineties? I don't know. Good Dinosaur. I think we're about to get into the Toy Stories. I'm not really looking forward to that. Why? Toy Story's is great. Is it? Got a solid like. Four we, or five we got the right? Nemo's. We got the Nemo's and the Dory's. I like, freaking love animation movies. Yeah. Sam and I are grateful that we don't have kids during this time. I will say that. 
I talked to our neighbors. They're blowing their heads off. They have a three and a six year old too. Somebody says 2020 has been one big April Fool's joke. That's right. Facts. No need for more. Let's see. Can you take Bollock 24 7? I think you mean 365 there. I recommend coming off. Uh, you could run it for 12 weeks and then come off. Somebody says, Dad's panicked too early about that. He's not, he'll not have time for y'all when he's a teen. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure of that too. Ready? Yeah, let's roll. All right. Core apparel. Do we have any new. Core apparel. So there's women's stuff that we just approved. So the women's line is like a kind of a cool. Actually, I think we already have them in here. They're like a like a, ra- a, a racer pack tank yeah, yeah. that you can also turn into like a crop top. And then we're doing um, three quarter kind of baggy style. I guess they're in style. I don't know. This is not my department here. Uh, women's clothing. So like a three quarter women's jogger in two colors. Man, I might have to fit in the next double. Bro, bro dude, you cannot bro, wear three quarter jogger. I'm trying to get no, that. But they're in like the kind of like puffy, like the, what the girls are wearing these days. You know what I'm saying? Hey, girl. Hey. The thotty clapping cheeks in there. Hey, the, man. <laughs> you ever heard about those meaty TikToks? Clapping get on those TikToks. <laughs> oh, man. Do you ever hear meaty thighs clapping cheeks? Meaty clapping cheeks, man. Oh. Tell you, you got to get on TikTok. That's, that's the only oh, thing I've been watching. Dude, it, shows and it's TikToks. A lot of, it's just too much. It's, it's Ooh, Sonic the Hedgehog. That, that would be a good Isn't one. Isn't it a lot of work? It is, but it's the organic reaches. Like, um, I asked one of our retailers who does it. He's literally literally an hour and a half to do a 30-second film. Yeah, you, yeah, for sure. I mean, if you don't know how to, like, to follow, to figure out a dance, I'm like, it takes me, like, three days. Meaty, we got a question here. We got, why your supplements doesn't exist in Sweden? Sweden. Well, in, th- in theory, they do exist in Sweden. It's just why do we not have a big presence in Sweden? It's because we do not have a solid distribution partner in Sweden. However, A-list nutrition we can ship anywhere in the EU, and you know we ship all over the world direct from our website. So you could always do that. Um, and if you know any retailers in Sweden or distributors that would like to carry the brand, reach out, info at corenutritionals.com, and Mr. Meaty Thighs will get back to you. Hey, Meat and Douglas, hi from Niceville, Florida. Nice, Bill. What's going on? Did you watch Ozark season three yet? Um, about four episodes in. It's getting Ooh, juice. I'm like four episodes in, dude. Can I was texting with uh, the arms race crew, and I was like, it was like intense. Like I was like intense into the show, and they were talking about stuff, and then like, but I was like real intense, and it was getting kind of like this, and so like I'm writing back, and then I wrote these texts, and I was like, oh geez, I was like, I didn't mean to come across so angry in those <laughs> texts. I was like, I was watching Ozarks three and trying to multitask. Uh, do you guys have a multi-specific to women? No, I don't really believe in that, honestly. There's a couple ingredients that women could benefit from, you know, the thing about iron and, you know, a couple of those different things. But, like, really, I don't really believe in a men's and women's. We've created core multi, which is designed to be great for any active male or female. Yeah. So, um, yeah. All right. Um Release date for Stabilize, Arms Race Nutrition Stabilize. So we just had a call with GNC yesterday that Kenton and I were on. And they are, the ship date or the is April 8th. So like in a week, by next week, we're shipping Stabilize. Um, but it'll be rolling out. I would tell everybody, early May, we are slotted to do their, their resets. And so we're getting a wall in GNC's at least the top A stores, the top 1,000 stores. So we'll have a wall, um, which since our brand is not that big yet in terms of the number of SKUs, it's probably two or three shelves. But every GNC will have a specific arms race spot that you go to. So it'll be like you go in and you see a whole wall of Ghost or like um, Alani New or something like that. We'll have our own. So we're pretty cool to learn that. So that's planogrammed in. So all of that is happening in May. So I would say early May is the launch of Stabilize and Clarity. But it's shipping like ASAP. Is it launching um, same same time on the website? Or did you mention that? Yeah, I, I don't think they've nailed down the official kind of launch date for that yet. But I'm thinking it's going to be early May. Okay, so my question is the arms race nutrition. Oh, oh no, we is haven't it? nailed it down yet because we don't know exactly when GNC is going to nail it down. So we got to so coordinate. We're still coordinating that. But it's going to okay. be about early May. So I would say, say about four weeks. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I got a question. Top five meals uh, on the on the road. Um, 
Hold on. So top five easiest meals to prep when you're on the road. So top five is a, five is a lot. Um, so in my road travels, the meaty loaf is number one. So go to cornnutritionals.com, go to articles, find the Crush It Cafe, or just search meaty loaf, M-E-A-T-Y-L-O-A-F. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, it's an easy-to-make loaf that you just wrap in some aluminum foil, and you're, I mean, we, we live on those things on the road. Yep. And then I would say Core a MRP. meat stick, M- MRP, yep. PWO, pack your proteins. Meat sticks. Meat sticks, protein bars. And I just, I'll pack a tuna packet or something like that and then just figure it out. Like, so those are really, like, you don't have to cook. No, no yeah, Those are like on the road meals. That's yeah. great. Arms race athletes ever. Yes, actually, we're talking about that now. We are going to be bringing on some other influencers and athletes at some point in time. All GNCs, I'm not really sure the full list. Their opening order for the Stabilize is pretty massive. So um, it's at least all the A and B stores in military. Um, it could be all of the locations. What do you think of the new Chemex supplement company? They're not that new. They've been around for about a year. So that's a uh, Gorilla Chemist. Some interesting formulas. I've but, never really used the... Pres- yeah, but... I don't know much I about mean, it. They have an intro that everyone likes, but I'm going to say it. Core intro is definitely be- a better. Yeah, this is our show. Say it. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. it's Ours is better and uh, better value, I believe, too. The one thing I will say about that brand is they've done a good job of keeping pricing integrity up. You know yes, what I mean? from like, a brand perspective. From a brand perspective. From a consumer's perspective, that's not great. No, it's it, not great because it's really expensive. Yeah. But, but no, uh, Gorilla Chemist is a smart guy, so. Doug, what is your most missed gym exercise during quarantine? Man, I love the Rogers Pendulum Squat. That's why I've just been on Alibaba trying to find one because <laughs> all the local used gym places do not have them. Not even local. Even, like, the East Coast don't have any. So I actually contacted Rogers also today. Uh, went right to the source to see what the pricing is. That's a tough one. So, like, I love for legs. I love the Pendulum Squat. It's, that machine is just so smooth. And I get so much activation in my legs, both hams and quads, that I love it. Yeah. What, uh, what's your favorite in-home exercise? Like, what are you doing that's different right now? Different? I mean, I'm, I started working back in barbell squats, which I've stopped doing because of the shoulder. Right? Yeah. And so I've been working a lot on my, oh, my mobility. And so now I'm getting in there, and each time I squat, I get back further and further, and it, less and less pain. Yeah, I squat for the first time today in like three years. Yeah, how does it feel? Dude, my shoulders are wrecked. Like panda. Panda, 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 panda. You out? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, you keep that. Six feet. You keep that ma- yeah. You keep that panda mask on and you stay six feet back there, boy. Panda, get in here. Bird, Bur- step aside. We've already talked about this, but I got the same person asking this. First flavor of new pro to try. What are you going to try first? I think I know which one you're going. Like People it. don't even know who. The, you just I said like, pain. I like the Fruity Pebble one. Well, get the name right, bro. What's the name? Fruity Cereal. Fruity Cereal. <laughs> Same thing. Fruity, yeah. Fruity. You're talking Panda. You don't show his face. And, like, people are like, who the hell is this Panda you're talking about? They know about? who Panda, Panda, Panda. Panda's Peter. Asian guy. Asian marketing guy. Um, Meet and Doug, what's the lowest carb and highest cardio y'all have ever done during a prep? Highest and lowest? Highest cardio, lowest carb. About 120 carb and about an hour of cardio. A day. Yeah. But that didn't last. Like, that wasn't, right. that wasn't even 120. It was probably 140 and an hour of cardio. But that doesn't last long. Like, that's, yeah. Yeah, I think the, my first prep, I think I got to 80 carbs for, like, one week. And then I was doing four days of HIT training. Um, it's for the birds. This one, I, my carbs didn't go below, like, I don't know if they Somebody got said, who's good. Panda? <laughs> um, and somebody also asked here, bruh, all right, uh, avoid Watson pendulum squat. Yeah, so this is not, it's not like a pendulum squat. It's it's actually called the Roger Squat Pro, I believe it's called. 
but it says pendulum on it because there is a pendulum. It's motion. their line, their pendulum line, line and it's yeah. made by Rogers, and it's called the Squat Pro. Because they have, like, leg presses that are pendulum. So I went on their site, and they have a Squat Pro V2. Oh, dude. So it's got, you know how the Squat Pro has two spots to put the weights? So there's one, like, down here, down here on your leg, knee, and there's the other one that's up front, up here high. Yeah. There's another one. This bar continues out all the way up over here. So the so you can load in a different way for to like for maximum juice. Just changing the strength curve, right? Like yeah. So you can either change with the strength curve, or you could just load a crap ton crap. more weight on. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I just had a thought. We should we should design and and uh, do our own equipment, bro. Can we do, do you that? know how to weld? No, nah, but I I know friends. I know friends. I got friends. <laughs> I know friends. I got out. friends in low places. Oh, man. All right, I got a good one here. Got I know it. it's probably been asked before, but what is the benefit of the Crush It Tier program? So let's give them an update. So it's a couple things. So one is the obvious, the tangible, which is you can earn money, right? You can earn free products. Um, it, it all depends on, there's no pressure for sales. We don't push, we don't want people selling. We want people living the lifestyle and that will hopefully convert to sales, um, and educating people. So there's no pressure, you know, there's, there's no, like, you have to do this. You have to do that. You have to do that. You get out of it, what you put in it. And that's why it's called the tiers program. Cause you move up to tiers and you get more benefits. So it's, uh, cash, it's, it's um, free supplements, all of that stuff. But also you're a part of some exclusive content and deals that we have ourselves. So new products are released early to you. You get special um, uh, content on our private Facebook group that, w that we um, put out there. So it's really a great little culture that we've, uh, are not so little anymore. Um, I mean, it's. Yeah, I was going to say, um, if I can interrupt you for a second, yeah. I think one of the biggest benefits is just being part of the community that we have. Now. Exactly. You know, yeah. so like. Even if you you don't care for trying to move up the tiers, or but you just want to be a part of something, you know, a part of a community that a bunch of like-minded people, you know, like this person that asked was somebody who should be a crusher tier. I don't know if he is or isn't, but well, um, I mean, think about it. Our top our top twenty crusher tiers probably provide eighty to ninety percent of the revenue, anyways. Yeah. Right. So there's a couple, not a couple, but there's. There's a, a smaller number of people that are really performing in that sense right. than the, a lot of the other people that are there to just be a part of what we got going on, right? Which right. is cool too, right? And it's only getting better each each and every year. Yeah, you know, we we continue to push that, and we're gonna do the what is it, Crush It Mania or something? We were trying to yeah. Well, that that just not happening this year. Not happening this year. So I think we are gonna move the Nut Bash though from June to the last week in September. Is what I was thinking. Because it's after the Olympia and before, like, the more, a lot of the local bodybuilding shows, local slash national bodybuilding shows in October, November. Yeah. And the weather's still nice in Virginia Beach. So I'm thinking of doing it last week in September. Just thought. I'm down for that. What else you got? What's your biggest, what's the biggest lesson you've learned through the quarantine? You know, I don't, I don't know if it's the biggest lesson. Um... But the whole thing is quite remarkable. I don't want to get too deep or too religious here, but it is quite remarkable how everything has changed in an instant, like immediately. So, like, if you're not a religious person, you know, I think a lot of people might start to be because I, I truly believe that a lot of this stuff happened for a reason. It's amazing how a lot of the less than ideal things that go on on a daily basis. Everyone pushing for more, everyone in the rat race, everyone um, not spending time at home with the family, you know, not doing, doing all these other things. The importance of money, the important, you know, and power and all of those things. This is a great equalizer, right? Because there really isn't anything you can do, yeah. right? And so it is a great reset on the world. I mean, it's kind of messed up, but like, dude, I... You know, I love the fact that I, I've literally eaten dinner at the dinner table every night at 5 p.m. for the past, you know, three weeks. So, And that never happens. Do you think that, that often when we go back to somewhat normal C, is that something you're going to strive for as a husband and father? 
yeah, to the, make happen. Obviously, you can't make maybe not every the, night, right? And the reason why it's happening now is because there's a lot of the things that I or my responsibilities that I would usually have to do, whether it's traveling or handling other things out and about, I don't do now, right? Yeah. So um, I have more time to do it now. So, but yeah, I think um, I think probably there'll be more of those nights where I'm home by five. I would think. Um, I think that's the biggest thing is time. Like um, people are getting time right now. Yeah. And I just hope people are utilizing it. Right. Like, and I was telling Steph last night, I was like, she was, we were watching Netflix and she was scrolling on Facebook. And, um, I mean, I'm like one to talk here because I'm, I have it as just scrolling, yeah. right? Like you just, everyone does it. Um, but I said, I was like, man, you gotta really stop. Cause she'll read, she'll read all like the crazy headlines. Right. And I'm like, Steph, you gotta stop. Just stop. Stop consuming that media. Like, and she doesn't even spend that much time on her phone because she's tied up with the kids so much. But when she does, like, she'll be like, oh, did you see this person? Like, she'll, like, she'll, like, play by play of her Facebook feed. I was like, listen, I can look at my Facebook and see all that. I don't want to see it right now, yeah, yeah. right? Like, and I probably have already seen it. So um, I think being careful, and I told all the guys yesterday on our team call for the nutrition corners, so I was like, guys, please, you know, um, just be leery of all the media that you could potentially be consuming right now, right? Because it's... I mean, I do watch the news more now than I ever have, but I like I watch it for a period of time in the morning and then at night, and that's it. Um, I try not to have it on flowing all day long. And same with social media, right? Like, there's just so much crap out there. Yeah. Um, so I just, I just think people should be very leery of how much media they should be consuming now, and take this opportunity to take a break from a lot of that stuff. Yeah, I know my self-imposed pressures on cer- social media for certain things. I I just said, whatever, you know, like got to do a post every day. Got to do this, blah, 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 whatever. Training Tuesday, every Tuesday. I just said, screw it Yeah, for now. Yeah. Yeah. Third, I got a question. Yeah. What's your favorite coffee creamer flavor? I just, I've been on the Starbucks creamers, like the caramel macchiato one. And then there's a white chocolate. Ooh. Yeah. I use them both. And these are like Starbucks branded creamers you can get at the, at the, at the store. Yeah, but then but then I go back to, like, when I was hitting the gym and stuff, the, the sugar-free ones are pretty much just as good, yeah. I mean, in my opinion. Yeah. Steph's all about that French vanilla sugar-free. Yeah. yeah. If you could find them, they're I would hard say to find. French Everyone, vanilla. like, I mean, they got, it. they got them, they're gone. Like, I want the French vanilla Is that because of the quarantine or they're just gone? No, usually just gone, like, because they're just Steph likes there. stocks up. Our fridge in the basement has, like, Three extra creamers. Like, we don't have creamer. It's not when we had, um, when Jimmy was uh, living with us, yeah. we got him an extra fridge down there. Man, it's coming clutch. Like, I bet. You know, like, yeah. we've stocked so the whole thing's stocked. Mostly full of beer. I'm on the Italian roast, like the Italian dark roast <laughs> coffee. At Starbucks. Uh, yeah, but I'm, I just have them at the house now. Oh, okay. Dude, dark. Uh, Sketch of those, like, Starbucks employees, like, handing me the drink. I'm like. Sam had a really bad experience uh, Monday. Yeah. Um, service. She was like. Just cause you're, just cause it's coronavirus doesn't mean you. She, so she's gonna like call in. She's all big on that. On know? what? Uh, bad, if she gets bad long? service or good service, uh, Did it just take long. Um, t- t- took to way too long. long. She at? was the only one there. It didn't stir. She a- always asked to stir oh, my Starbucks. coffee. Yeah, she just got really bad service. So I got a question here. Did you find all your home gym equipment for cheap, or did you pay full price? So there's a couple things that I'm very picky about. I really think a dumbbell set makes all the difference in the world. So I was really picky about the dumbbells and the weights and the bars and stuff. So I bought those new, I have a good contact that got me that hooked it up basically and got those new, but I got, I saved a a great amount than from what just anybody off the street going to the manufacturer would, would pay. So those were new, the deadlift platform and squat rack, were new. Everything else. Is that hammer uh, strength? What brand is that? It's York. York Barbell. Okay. Yeah. Which I really like. Um, everything else was purchased when a gym went out of business. A buddy of mine bought about six. Um, I think we spent 16 grand and we got over 60 pieces of equipment. How sick is that? Yeah, it's sick. And so I took the eight or 10 for my house. And then he took the other, what he wanted. And then we auctioned the rest off. Um, so all of that other stuff was purchased on a fire sale, basically. Um, let's say I went to a sketchy, uh, auction the other day, like that was going on, like in Sterling. Erasmus or like a live? Just a live auction. Oh. But it was like, it was weird. I saw signs. And I was like, I think I'm was that, an auction. Like, how is that possible? Yeah. Like, is that legal? <laughs> so I, I really roll up and there's like security guards. There's like 30 people in there. 
like all sitting next you to each other. You can't do that. And like, I'm just like, uh, like I kind of want, I'm interested, but I'm like, I, I'm the only one with a mask on. Like there's like two people with masks what on. What was it? Was it, it was, a state auction? Yeah, it was just like a, uh, they had like Picasso paintings. Like, oh, that's some big stuff. Rolexes. Like, Did you get a Picasso, bro? No, I was, I wanted to, but I was like, How I much? was just too sketch of like, I couldn't be in there. There's people like, there's rugs. Some people are like bidding on like fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 rugs. How much were the Picasso? Was it really Picasso? I swear, yeah, they were Picasso. They, I was literally like in front of them. I was like, man, like this looks cool, but like, I don't know what I'm looking at. I just thought it was interesting, but the cops came and shut it down, and it was. Oh really? Yeah. While you were there? Yeah. That's just cool. like, but I was a sketch because I had a mask. It's on. all probably black market stuff, anyway. Like yeah. people were sitting next to each other. It was just weird. Yeah. Yeah. I got some questions. Would you let LeBron James be a part of the core team if he reached out? If he reached uh, out. Duh. Uh, this is such a weird. I guess anything can happen now. I have forty-five. I think the answer is yes. Eight pounds. What the heck? I don't even know what that means. What's your favorite dream car? Dream car? Yeah, my favorite car. I don't know. Just want a truck. I want a tundra. Tundra. <laughs> get, get on and give me a tundra, and I'll be all set. I'll be all set. Why does he got to make fun of me like that? Yeah. What's your dream car or whatever? <laughs> so bitter. <laughs> I don't think I really have a, a dream car. Like, I, I really like the cars that I drive. So, like, I, I love the Raptor. No. And I did drive my car today because it was going to be a nice day. And I drove Oh, you here. drove the car today? Yeah. And sure enough. It rained today. It's been clean. It was detailed and put in my garage. And I drive it, like, once a week, if that. And it's been, like, two weeks. I was like, sure enough, it started raining on the way over. I was pissed. <laughs> Anyways. Advice for training with minimal equipment, just working with two 35-pound dumbbells. You want to handle that one, Meat, since you're uh, in the middle of that? One minute. Make it hard, man. I, I don't know how to answer it without, like, specifically talking to the person. But just make it hard. You heard it here first, boys. <laughs> ask, like, ask the boss. Call in with your good questions. We'll, well give you good real answers. Real quick, let's think, before, <laughs> before we take a break, yeah. if you think about it, you only have 30 pounds, so slow the tempo down. Create more time yep. under tension um, and just get creative, right? Like, And I, you don't do three sets of something. You might have to do 10 sets of something. Like if you're doing shoulders, do 10 sets of lateral raises instead of your normal three to four. Right. Right, just to get your volume in there. Up your intensity, you yeah. know, so. Do you you, can, I think I know who that was. You can message me and swap off there. And we're back. I told me just get out of here. Kick me out. He had to take a leak. Um, so let's get to some more of these questions here. I don't know why I stuttered there. Does pre-exhaust method only apply to leg training? No. You can do that for both. Ask Bobby if he's a bomb back lot. What? Johnny says, ask Bobby if he's a bomb back lot. Oh. <laughs> What's that? A bomb back lot. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> chill, chill. Chill, 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 chill. chill, chill. What is that, J Johnny? What oh, is that? Oh, man, I'm running out of battery, too. Damn. Oh, no. Uh, oh, you lost 45 pounds. That's awesome. Yeah, I lost 45 pounds, too. But yeah, but it good. wasn't your choice. <laughs> Who do you think is the GOAT bodybuilder? Well, that's a tough one. It's hard to argue that Ronnie, it's hard to argue that he's not the GOAT. Um... Who would you like to train with, alive or dead? I think The Rock would be pretty cool. I think that would be pretty good. Man, we're getting a lot of questions coming in here. Best thing in the morning, pro peanut butter ice cream. Bro, we got you. The new core pro drops on Monday. The All six flavors are better than all our old flavors. Not that our old flavors are bad in any sense of the imagination. They were all great. These are next level, so you got to try the new core pro. But the peanut butter ice cream was pretty dope. The battery dies, I'm sorry. Do you have pre-workout, every workout, or just selected days? Uh, pretty much every workout. We got a lot of questions. Too. Uh, Bird, how much time do we have left on the battery? Live really Fs it on up. On the battery? Yeah. I'm, I'm about to die. All right. So um, I guess that's a wrap for this episode of Ask the Boss, except for we can keep it live and going on the podcast, right? Good. Yep. For exclusive footage. Do you have anything else you want to say for this Ask the Boss? Me? Yeah. Did somebody just fart? No. <laughs> I thought I heard a. All right, we're out on that now. <laughs> I just, I we we have a lot of still questions, but yeah, let's go. We'll take it to the podcast. Oh, let's just keep it rolling until we die. All right, all right. So if we die, we die. If we die, we die. Go, let it rip. Um, does the pre-exhaust method apply only to legs or other body parts as well? 
All right, Steph. Go ahead. I already answered that. Yes, it applies to everything. Uh, you did? You were did peeing. You get on here? No, I just did something asked me on here. Um, anything else? We're coming up on an hour here anyways. We probably yeah, should get this rolling off. I think that's... Uh, Do you have any final thoughts for everyone? You want to show people your media love? Yeah, I was going to sit here and eat my media love. So this is what you... You prepare it in, you know, well, you don't prepare it in this, but this is what you wrap it in, you know, some aluminum foil. It's uh, always a great conversation starter at the airport going through TSA. This one's juice. It's got grow in there. Bro, I just Look brought in that. some grow. You can take take. Pause for the screenshot before we die. Take a bite. Oh, you can't right. take a bite. Take bite. another bite. I'm full. Take another bite. All right. Stocks are dropping. So that's, that's all my thoughts. That's all your thoughts? Yep. Get in. I got so much meat left in my mouth right now. <laughs> Get him something to drink. Drink. I you can't. I can't. I've got to focus. I will. Is that it? <laughs> Hold on. Mm. Oh, who's choking? <laughs> Bro, why are you choking? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, everyone's trying to call me now, and we had like, like pause video. Hold on, let me. I got a couple questions. Because you made me deep throw up my meat, though. Bro, what kind of mindset do you train with? Aggressive and kind of crazy, or slow and methodical? I would say more like the former. You should ask Stephanie that question. <laughs> <laughs> my wife does a great imitation. Um, are you still working on the protein bar? Yes, Dirty Dave can. Yes, Dirty Dave is still working on it. I have two hundred dollars to spend. What do you recommend? Loss. Uh, for weight loss for female. That's good. 200 bucks? I think that's a, uh, I think you can get a pretty sick stack. Really sick stack with that. All right, so you got to have your protons. So, pro. so the new core pro launching on Monday. 34. Or you can do an isolate if you're lactose intolerant. Oh, so, so and five, then, four, two pound, five pound. What are we doing here? I'm going to do this calculator. Let's go 34.99, two, two pound. pound. Yep. Uh, let's do a core hard. 39.99. Core shred. We're getting our stack here. Okay. Uh, core load. Where are we at? 160. Ooh, could you throw embolic in there? Did you throw burn in? You threw in shred. Did okay. I, didn't I do? Oh, and I did do burn. Yeah, and burn. Boom. I would do the burn, big mama. shred, hard, and load. I'll do big mama stack, add in shred. No. Hard, <laughs> load. Shred and burn, and then make sure you have a good protein. That's sick. Word. Glad you asked me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that it? I we out here? Uh, All right, guys. Till next time, stay safe. Wash your hands. Don't touch other people. Whoa. Keep crushing.